Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and this is night two of a thousand nights of UHC. As you can see, the sun is uh, peeking over my trees here, so we are on day two. Um, show you my little supply of inventory here I've got going. Um, let's go ahead and make some more torches. Um, if you remember when we just left off on our last episode, um, I started doing a little bit of a strip mine underground here. Well, not a strip mine, what I want to say. What's the words? They, they escape me. Um, started doing digging down in the ground in hopes of finding something uh, worthwhile. Um, let's go ahead and make this into an arrow. Or a couple arrows, I should say. Yeah, we have four arrows. I know we don't have a bow, but hey, that's okay. And let's head out into the world. Let's see what this world has to in, in store for us. Uh, let's do a little bit of a creeper check here around our base. Make sure we're not going to have any surprises when we return or when we turn our back to the guy. Um, we're going to need some more food. Uh, we're going to need to set up some type of farm uh, at least uh, before too long here. Let's explore our island a little bit too. I'll get some more eggs going. We need some more feathers because uh, our bow is going to be key. Um, being able to attack mobs in a ranged fashion is... Like I just said, gonna be key. It's gonna be important for us to. You know what? Let's go ahead and collect seeds too. It's gonna be important for us to be able to um, kill them off uh, from a distance without taking damage ourselves. Because um, that's the whole goal of this game: not taking damage. Um, in fact, I probably should slow down. I'm running around awful fast here, and I could get in trouble. Um, let's see, we need some point of reference here, something. Let's come back on the shoreline here. And our F3 is 296, 113. 296, 1, I'll probably forget that, but hey, I can always go back at the video and look at it later. There's a jungle off in the distance, so our island is not too small. Jungle off in the distance that way. Hmm. Not real fond of uh, traveling through jungles usually. We've got some sheep down there. That'll be nice if I do decide to make beds. Um. Whoa! No! 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 Not there. No! Oh! Already. How did he survive? We're 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 taking the evacuation route though, which is this way. <laughs> Oh, a heart and a half of damage already. I thought it'd be safe to explore during the first day or the second day here. Um, obviously, I was very, very wrong. We need to... We need to get string. We need a bow. We need armor. Reduce the amount of damage we're going to take because obviously I've already taken some. Um, okay, guys. Let's, let's regroup here. Let's make a battle plan. Hmm, I really wanted to explore some. I gotta see what resources we might have available to us right on the surface. You know, take advantage of what we can without having to go down in that ravine. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, I dug underneath underneath my temporary base there, and there's a big old ravine waiting on us. Full of mobs and lava. Which are not the two most friendly things at this point in the game. Um, let me make sure I'm in hard mode. Yeah, okay. I usually play in hard mode, but occasionally I'll put it in peaceful when I'm working on something creative. Uh, just wanted to make sure I'm in hard mode because uh, in hard mode, if you didn't know this already, you can take damage to your health from emptying your hunger bar. So I'm going to head back to the space here and make sure that I eat. Okay. Cook this stuff up. Did not want to waste that log. In fact, while that's cooking, let's make sure we have a nice, decent supply of wood. Uh, we don't want to have to be out here chopping wood for uh, torches, coal, torches, whatever, um, in the middle of the night. Um, wh wow. That sun just races across the sky too quick. Um, after the first episode, I guess I might have been wrong as far as when... Or how long the Minecraft day is. I was always thinking like the day was 20 minutes and the night was 10. But 
after I was done recording, I looked at the length of the episode, and it was 20 minutes. Now, maybe that has something to do with when you spawn in in the first day. Maybe the sun's you know, halfway across the sky or whatever, like it's noon. But I always thought it was, you know, at zero at least. I don't know. Well, but how long is the Minecraft day, guys? I guess I'll find out with this episode um, when I uh, stop this one. Once I get a feel for how long the day is, I'll uh, know how long to record and can set a timer up. Uh, something I probably should have done a long time ago with all my recording that I do. I have a little timer program running in the background that says, Hey, you've recorded too long. You're too, too talky. I don't know. Come on, seats. We're not exactly going to be getting a lot of bone meal, I don't think. Not until we set up some type of farm for skeletons and mobs, etc. So we'll need to have a nice big farm, is my point in saying that. Because I'm assuming that I will not be able to find any pigs or cows around here, because I haven't seen or heard one yet. Lots of wood to chop, guys. Um, normally on my channel, if you haven't watched my shows before, if this is the first thing that you're uh, running into, I would normally just say, okay, guys, I got a lot of wood to chop down. I'm going to cut here. Uh, see you back in like 20 minutes when I'm done chopping wood or whatever. But this series is going to be different. This series, you're going to be able to see start to finish 100%. Um, reason I'm doing that is I never know when I'm going to take damage. You never know when I'm going to take damage. Or hopefully you never know when I'm going to take damage. <laughs> hopefully it's not every episode or something like that. And, you know, I just wanted you to be able to be part of that whole experience. So that's what I'm going for. Tell me if you like it. I don't know. Let me take a drink. Throat's getting dry. Okay. Much, much better. Very refreshing. Okay, we're good to go now. Let's go get some more trees. So, how far do you think I'll make it? Leave a comment. Tell me. You think I'll make it to night 10? You think I'll make it to night 5? Do you think this is going to be the last episode? Let's see who's right. Maybe by the time I reach my death, I'll become so famous on YouTube. Ha ha ha, I doubt it. Um, that I'll have my own t-shirts. Maybe, just maybe, the person that has the winning number on here We'll get one of those t-shirts. But I doubt it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I have too much fun recording on YouTube sometimes, I think. Probably shouldn't be doing this just in case there was a some awful fall at the bottom of the tree. But that's usually how I chop trees down. Um, I go from the top up or top down approach usually. If I can do it, it just seems to be more logical to me. I can see that our sun is setting soon, um, so we'll need to be uh, getting back to our shelter before too long. Um, I would like to make our shelter a little nicer over time. I see another apple on the ground. Um, I don't want it to be some ugly thing. I don't want this to be solely about having survived just one more day every time. I want to make this into you know, your normal type of Minecraft Let's Play where you build things. You know, And I know it's not going to be normal. I, it's going to be my flavor of it. It's going to be uh, UH-seed. Oh. Come on. I can't, I can't leave part of a tree here, guys. You know that. It'll just annoy everybody, including myself. Um... It'll be UHC mode. 
get my version of it, but I just don't want to make this my home forever with absolutely no improvements whatsoever. That'd be boring to watch. I do watch YouTube videos. Um, and I don't like to watch boring videos. I'm sure you don't like to watch boring videos. Who would? Yes, more flint. I know I don't have a bow, but I'm being prepared. I've seen so many people try so hard to get a bow, and then they didn't worry about getting arrows at all. I don't want to be that person. Let's make some more. It's good enough for now. Okay, let's go ahead and store some of this junk away that we will not need underground. Let's keep an apple on us at all times, especially with our health being where it is, down a heart and a half. Um, if I can get the gold, I'll probably go ahead and eat one, um, or at least put it on my hot bar so it's readily available when the time comes. If I start taking more damage, I can eat the apple. Um, I believe golden apples in this version give you some health boost. You'll get some extra hearts that'll appear down here. So if you're under attack, that might be a good thing to do is to go ahead and uh, take one of those apples and start eating it. Um, hearing spooky cave sounds. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. Um, can't really tell how, how loud my Minecraft sounds are for you right now. In fact, let's check everything out. Sounds 10, music off, okay. Usually run like that for uh, YouTube because one, I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying, so I'm not just talking to myself. And two, I've ran into problems with YouTube before where, for some reason, on the one video that had a lot of Minecraft music, one, you couldn't hear me, but YouTube themselves detected that as a possible copyright infringement because it had music in it. So I just turned the music off after that. I mean, yeah, it's cool and everything, and in my case here, underground it'd probably let me know when there's day but uh i don't know just don't see a need for it and yes we found coal finally um let's see let's work our way around over this way so we can make a safe path down oh of course it has to be right there well i guess we're going to be making uh <sighs> making a, a path back up hold on one sec guys oh and that's the thing guys um if i ever have to make a cut like that or i end an episode I'm going to be doing it in such a way that um, you will not miss a thing. I will come back right where I left off. Um, that way, if something were to happen, um, you shouldn't miss it. Um, if you didn't hear the background noise there, I was turning my air conditioner off. It's the middle of summer. Um, it's July 10th, actually, right now. I'm recording this. Um, for you, those of you that don't understand how I might be doing this, um, I actually just recorded episode one just a few minutes ago. I'm probably going to be recording several episodes, at least try to make two a day. Um, we'll have to see how that works out. That way I can get ahead of it and hopefully release these every day. Um, by recording two a day, that gives me a chance to take a break from it. Um, when I'm not feeling like... Um, recording or I might happen to get up a little later or I want to record one of my other episodes or series um, it gives me the option to doing that and yes we have found officially our first piece of iron so we're gonna need another pick we're gonna need a stone pick for that um, let's put that right there and make our pick See, my last episode was 12 minutes, and it is 34 after right now, so let's say it was 33 after when I stopped the recording a second ago. So, 13 plus 3. I don't know, I've got about 5 minutes, I think, still, before the 20-minute mark comes up, and I can... Detect if I need to stop recording 
around 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I don't know which it is. So, viewers, subscribers, do you make YouTube videos also? If so, and you happen to use a awesome, use a, uh, a timing program, what program do you use? Um, I'm going to be looking for one so that I can know when days are over. Um, I guess I could technically take one day in creative and build some kind of contraption in creative in the sky or whatever by spawn that uh, is always loaded that way. Um, that detects the day and blah, 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 blah. You know what? Never mind. I think that's all possible in vanilla now. There's a daylight detector, I believe. We don't need to go to creative at all. The only thing it won't tell me is I won't have a command block available to me. That's the bad thing. Oh, well. I'll just have to come up with a timer on my computer. So if you've got a timer program you like to use, let me know about it. Oh, getting so lucky with iron in this episode. That's awesome. More and more. Give me it all. We need iron. We need iron before we find our gold. <laughs> um, doesn't have to be in that order, but uh, you know what? I didn't light that up enough. We need to have a very well lit cave system because it's right by right attached to our base. Um, what was I saying? Um, we need our iron armor. We need it as soon as possible. Um, and then once we get our iron armor established, we'll get iron tools. Once we have iron tools, we'll be on the hunt for diamond uh, to go upgrade our armor. Looks like it's still, yeah, it's still well into the night here. So let's go ahead and cook up all that iron we just found. That should be enough uh, coal, to, coal to cook it all up. Um, in fact, let's go ahead, speed things along. We are now at level two efficiency for our cooking needs there we go Ooh, I hear nasties outside you hear it skeleton it's times like these where I'm glad that I started pushing those tree line that tree line back away from our house because tomorrow's episode I'm going to be going out there and there's going to be a skeleton out there. And if he hasn't burned, he's going to start shooting me. Oh, boy. What did I get myself into playing this game? Let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest plate for the beatdown we might receive. Just to mitigate it a little bit. Let's see, I've got two on me, one cooking there. One there, two more up there, so that'll give me six so I can make myself, what, a pair of pants? Is that how many it takes? I think it's seven, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be seven, because there's two missing in the crafting grid. So I can make myself a helmet, or I can make myself a boot and some a sword. Let's go with the helmet. We need as much armor as we can. Don't know that the helmet has a whole lot more protection than the boots, um, but... Uh, it's just one more piece of iron that iron I have to find. And as you can see, the sun is starting to rise. So I'm going to go ahead and call an end to this. Oh, the sweet sounds of skeletons burning in the morning. <laughs> that, is the, oh, that is the end of day two, night two of a thousand nights of UHC. Come back tomorrow and see what happens on night three. Tech Deck, signing off. Bye-bye now.